Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a cable only app workout. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button to join the family and yeah, let's get into it. So throughout this video, I want you guys to remember to always keep your core flexed and tight. And when you're doing these exercises, try to do them slow. As you can see with this exercise, my hands are kind of wide, which makes it harder. But you can put them at the, at, to the side of your hips. But if you do it as wide as I'm doing it at where my hand placements are, it will be harder. <laughs> doing this exercise make sure you're fully extending your leg and your head all the way back so that you can get that full contraction when you go back and back into the crunch okay because that's how you will really be able to feel it and with these ones too you can really do a lot of reps with this and your abs will feel so bad but you look so good <laughs> try this exercise they kind of feel a little bit weird and it's okay I feel like with this particular exercise you have to do it a few times to get comfortable with it so when you are doing it make sure your core is tight and you're flexing it as well and you're putting all the weight to your abs and not using your shoulders to pull down on your head even though you are but like try to focus more on your abs if that makes sense My favorite ab workouts and the fact that we're using a cable as well to do it it's so much harder like you'll see you see I'm going back to go and decrease the weight so yeah it's actually really hard and you want to take your time doing these and not half ass it so make sure you're using your core to do it and try to go try to extend as much as you can and just push through the pain This was actually my first time doing this exercise and the only thing that I would say about this is that you really have to be careful or else you're not really going to use your abs th in this exercise. When you're twisting, make sure that your core is being flexed and what is doing the exercise. A lot of people when they do abs, they forget to use that muscle to do all the work instead of their other body part that's doing it. Another thing is when you're doing these, try your best to not move your thighs and your legs. Just try to make your upper body and your core the only thing that's moving to make it harder and really feel it. Ok 
okay so now this one is literally the same but instead of going up down we're going down up so like the last one was more of your upper core this one will be more of your lower core so just the same instructions use your core to twist try not to move your leg as much i made a mistake of moving a little bit a few times <laughs> exercise is a little bit more on the difficult side uh, if you guys are doing this I do recommend doing a low weight so you can really do it properly I was struggling I'm not gonna lie it was a little bit hard when you're doing these try to keep your legs stable as much as you can and it's basically Russian twist but obviously you're using the cable which will make it so much harder <music> exercise is great for the side lines if you know what I'm talking about on your core when you're doing these do these slow as well and keep flexing your core I cannot emphasize this enough if you are not flexing and tightening your core you're not really doing anything and make sure it hurts just like push through y'all just push through the pain okay? <laughs> Okay, so with this exercise, I highly recommend that you get something to stand on so you're a little bit elevated off the ground, which makes it a little bit easier. Not really, but just I didn't do it here because the gym was so busy and I just couldn't be bothered. So I just wanted to do this just to show you guys. This one is also great for your core, but it's just better when you're a little bit higher off the ground. <laughs> For this exercise in particular, remember to keep your back straight and as for your hands, if you feel uncomfortable, you can put them on your hip, you can put it behind your back like how I did it or you can also put it on top of your head so you have like a triangle on your head. It really depends on you but yeah, just the main thing is just making sure your back is straight and you're looking forward or up. <laughs> this work this exercise like literally when I'm even when I'm doing leg day or something I'll just randomly do this in between my sets that's how much I love it and how effective it is on your core so when you're doing these 
my knee is you're gonna try to use your knee to touch your shoulder and when you do it just try to do it slow and crunch if you've seen my last video i had done this exercise too but i was doing alternating from um like the shoulder to my other shoulder and it's a great exercise <laughs> Okay.